Hi, I'm Mark. And I'm Valerie. And we're at my home. So today we're going to take a look at the Wise Video Doorbell Pro Edition. So last year we already reviewed the original Wise Video Doorbell and that worked pretty well. This one you can either wire into your doorbell or you can still use it wire free. So what do we have for features in this one though? So it has got, it has a 1440p plus video resolution, which is more than high def. Uh, it gets a 150 degree by 150 degree square head to toe. Oh, that's good. View. That means you can see the ground, hopefully. We'll okay. test that out. Yeah, definitely. It's got two-way audio. Uh, the battery life, it says up to six months. That's pretty good. It's got a Wi-Fi extender chime. It's the Wise Chime Pro in here. So you can put that somewhere else in your house. You can hear the doorbell. Uh, it's got a, it's weatherproof, which is good since it could be outside. And it's got package and person detection if you use the Cam Plus. You know, the reason why it has a Wi-Fi extender chime is it will not work with your your chime in your house. Oh, right? it doesn't? Even so you're if gonna you wired in? Yeah, even if you wired in. So you're going to power it through there, but you're not going to be able to hear the chime okay. in your house. Okay, that's interesting. And it's wire and screw free. Although I know it comes with screws, so maybe it let's doesn't. Let's see what's in the box. Let's take a look at what's in the box. I backed the Wise Video Doorbell Pro. Oh, another sticker. Another I love sticker. these stickers. Look at this. We have a whole collection. I backed it. I hope those are going to be worth something someday. I don't know. I don't know if I could find them all. Here's the Quick Start Guide. Quick Start Guide. All right. All right. The oh, there's the Chime Pro. Well, that's big. That's big. That's I think. And it plugs directly into the wall outlet. It's like the biggest chime I've ever seen. Yeah, but you know what I like about it is because it's got a button here. I wonder what it does. It plugs in as opposed to battery. We have some models that we've tested that have batteries in these. Yeah, things. and you have to change batteries. Yet more batteries. This you could plug in anywhere in the house you wanted to get. That's pretty cool. All right here's the. Ooh, that's a lot bigger than the first one. Oh the yeah, other well, one was really small. Whoa, and it weighs a lot more. Really look at look at exercise with this. This one's pretty heavy too. Maybe it'd be the two and the two of them. Wouldn't be a very good workout. But this is pretty nice. Look at this. It has that plastic. You ready? Here we go. Take the plastic off. Ready? Hmm. I'm not doing it. No, it wasn't well. that. That's fine. You ready? Do it again. See, I am not trained in the removal of plastic like you are. I guess not. So that's pretty nice. You know, when you look at this thing, it's got the, obviously the, the camera. There's a little. There's a little light here or, or sensor or something here. I don't know what it's for. Looks like a hole for the microphone and a button. And what's right, here charging in this cable, box? You said? Mm -hmm. There's charging cable. Ooh, that's cool. Here's like some mounting stuff. Why don't you check All this right, out? Right, let's check it out. Okay, so this looks like two-sided 3M tape, so it must be you stick this to the wall. And then, oh, that's the angle bracket. Oh, that's so, the angle bracket. Yeah, you mount it. Uh, yeah, I can do it here, but if you mount it on, you see it creates an angle so that if you you know your if your doorbell needs an angle, to angle. See the person. you got it you see on the back now there's two screws because you can wire it in so we're going to see how that works out in the thing and then it looks like there's a uh, rubber gasket back here if i can get it to come off well there's a usb micro usb connector on it so let me show you here and on the other side is nothing it's just a button oh wait a minute wait a minute wait a minute Power on. Oh, scary. Power, look. It's got a blue light. Oh, it's on. And it rings. It rings. You know, that means I could probably hook it right up to my phone. That's cool. You notice there's no holes in this thing here. You know what that means? What? That means there's no SD card slot. So the only way this records oh. is to the cloud. Oh, that's interesting. That's really different from other Wise products. It is. I, and I read their FAQ, and the FAQ said the reason we do that is if someone stole your doorbell, they would steal your SD card and have all your video footage. So there is a bracket if I want to connect this to the door, right, or connect this to the, to the house, which I'm going to do because I don't like the idea of sticking it to the you house. You don't want to stick to the house. But if you want, you can use this plate and your sticky thing, 3M tape, and stick it to the house. So that's it. That's the whole thing. Look, power cable, doorbell that plugs into Door the wall, chime. chime plugs into the wall, uh, angle bracket, sticky stuff so you can stick it to your house instead of having to, you know, my old house I used to have in the East Coast used to have clapboards, right? This would probably be great for yeah. it. You could stick it right to it. Uh, and then this 
really heavy. I mean, it's really heavy, which means it must have a really nice battery in it. Uh, nice battery video and a doorbell. nice camera. So. And a nice camera. And uh, the plate for mounting it like we're going to do it. I guess I should put the word up here. And then it comes with, oh, look at this. There's a little screwdriver. There's uh, cables here for extending out your wiring. We'll see what that's for. Uh, plus mollies and screws to put it to the wall. And then some wire nuts and some tiny screws as well. But that's it. That's the whole thing. That's pretty that's nice. That's it. The Wise nice. Video Doorbell Pro. So Mark's going to go ahead and install this and we'll check it out and come back and show you how it works. Installing was mostly easy, just like the other Wise products. If you want to see the install and hear about the issues, we'll show you at the end of the review. Video recording from the camera is quite good, and you can pretty much see from head to toe, though it is a fisheye look. However, the audio sounds muffled when downloaded onto a computer from the cloud. Hi, everybody. Hopefully you can hear me quite well. The person detection works very well without having to press the doorbell button. Pressing the doorbell button immediately rings the supplied chime. With doorbell press announcement enabled in Alexa, it will let you know on all your Alexa devices. As you heard, the recorded sound wasn't good on playback, but if you play back from the Wise app, it sounds just fine, which is okay if you are looking right away, but not good if you want to save the recording. Hi everybody, hopefully you can hear me quite well. Okay, I'm going to go ring the doorbell. Okay, I rang the doorbell. Night vision is very good. With no lighting, you can see clearly, and again, the person detection works just as well as daytime. We were surprised at the level of Alexa integration, from announcing the doorbell press to pulling up the video. Someone is at the Courtyard Doorbell Pro from Wise. Alexa, show Courtyard Doorbell Pro from Wise. Okay. Alexa can also listen and talk to the person at the doorbell. We did find a couple of issues though. If you want to talk, you have to press the hidden talk button. Hello, may I help you? And hold the button well after you talk. Hi, I'm here to check out your wide doorbell. Otherwise, the person at the doorbell hears nothing. And sound wise, while understandable. Okay, well, thank you very much. You're welcome. It was somewhat garbled on both ends. Let's check out the features. You can set high definition or standard definition resolution. You can zoom out the picture and move around to get a better view. If you rotate the phone, you get the best view and can look all the way up and down. This is great for seeing packages on the ground. If you are wondering if you have a good Wi-Fi connection, you can see the data rate next to the battery icon. Since we wired this doorbell, the battery icon shows as charging. You can take a snapshot or record a video and can set night vision on, off, or auto. Playback is easy by just scrolling back through the recordings that also tell what triggered it, like if a person was detected. In settings, you can define your motion detection. We have Cam Plus on, which means we can record if persons, packages, or pets are detected. You can even detect if there's a vehicle detected, which isn't something our doorbell should ever see. You can set the cooldown between recordings from zero to five minutes and can adjust the max length of a recording up to 180 seconds. Plus, you can set a schedule when to detect. Wise even lets you select the sounds your chime will make we found clear to be the best for us. Installation was easy. Just select the plus key on the main screen of the WISE app and follow along. Add device, cameras, select WISE Video Doorbell Pro, not WISE Doorbell as that is the original model. You will then press the button on the back of the doorbell to wake it up. You will hear a sound. Then it will have you plug in the chime and press the chime's reset button. You should hear ready to connect. When the status light blinks, Click the box at the bottom of the screen and then next. The app will search and find your doorbell and ask you to set up the network connection. Nice thing about this model is it is dual band Wi-Fi, so it will connect to whichever it finds, 2.4 or 5 gigahertz. Now it makes a connection to the Wise Cloud and adds the doorbell. 
The next section is where you physically install the doorbell. You have a choice to wire it to your existing doorbell or use the battery only. We wired it, so we needed to turn off the power at the breaker and use the bypass on our old chime. WISE has screens to walk you through the whole process. It then asks more questions on how you want to mount it. We chose to screw it in place with the flat plate. This is where we had a slight issue with the install. So that screwdriver they supplied. It is used to remove the screw at the bottom of the doorbell. Then you place the doorbell on the bracket and gently push down while screwing in the screw. Yeah, it wasn't easy as until it is fully screwed in, the top won't hold. Okay, that was it. Just turn the power back on and name the doorbell. If you get asked to install new firmware, do that now. You're done, and don't forget to test it. We find the doorbell to be quite nice, and except for the mounting issue and that fisheye look, it performed as expected.